Hi and welcome to this short full body warm-up routine. No equipment needed, you can do this warm-up routine before any workout. So without further ado, let's go! So we'll begin with side head tilts. Stretching the side of our neck and into our shoulders. And then up and down. And then we will roll our shoulders backwards. And forward. Nice circles here. And then we'll do hand swings. Just bending slightly in our knees as we come down. And backwards. Now we'll go down on all fours and do the cat cow stretch here. So inhale and exhale. And then we'll whack the tail a little bit, go from side to side here. Okay. And now you can place a pillow underneath your knee if you want, or you can just fold your exercise mat here like this. And we're going to stretch the front of our thigh, the quads, and the front of our hip. Straight back, you can move your foot a little bit forward if you, if you need to. And then just think about pressing forward with your hip. Feel the stretch here and all the way down. And switch sides. Gently forward. Good. And now we'll move up and do the deep squat stretch here, stretching our inner thighs. So brace the core, engage the core here. Stand with your feet a little bit wide and toes pointed out. Go down into a deep squat and place the elbows on the inside of your knees and you can have your knuckle inside one of your, uh, the other palm. Press the knees out. If you find this uncomfortable, you can place a yoga block underneath your butt and sit on it or stack some books or pillows underneath. Really feeling the stretch here. And then go up and do this one more time. Gets the core. And down. Up. 
and now we'll do like standing hip circles so we'll move like this trying to draw a big circle with our knee just do as big or as small of a movement that you're capable of doing I'm quite stiff in my hips so you might be able to do this a lot better than I can good okay and then we'll finish this off with um, dynamic stretching of the legs so we'll do leg swings both uh, front and then on the sides and I feel like it's always better to hold on to something you can just hold on to the wall here or you can grab a chair and hold on to that. So here, just make sure that you have enough room so that you don't kick anything. And then you'll just swing your legs as high as you can, both in front and at the back. Keep the core engaged. side again make sure that you don't kick anything engaged core I'm quite stiff it's not even funny so I really I really like this one I feel like I'm it really helps me getting ready for all kinds of movement okay then i'll move the chair over here and do this from side to side against the core first anything here I'm just doing it until I um, feel like I'm warm enough so you can do this for longer if you need to that I do I always do a few air squats so we'll finish up with that place your feet about shoulder width apart toes pointed a little bit out engage the core then go as low as you feel comfortable with press the knees out on the way down so that you don't lose them inwards like this out and keep an engaged core just do as many as you feel comfortable with workout if you don't feel warm enough already then just do this circuit one more time replay the video and then i bet you're good to go